Almighty Father, we want to worship and reference you. Thank you because you are the only and only God. Teach us to know you. Teach us to serve you. Teach us to obey you. Teach us to love you. So that Lord Jesus, as we are saved, be sanctified, cleanse and purify inside. And so that Lord Jesus will be able to obtain the Holy Spirit and live a life pleasing unto you. Father, take control. Help us as you explain your word to us so that we can explain to others and bring them to Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for coming to this soul intercessive prayer. A time that is wonderful that we come together on Sunday at 3 p.m. to learn from the presence of the Lord intercessively because soul intercessory prayer. As we intercede, we go out there and bring souls to the Lord. So let's go to 1 King chapter 18, 1 to 2. 1 King chapter 18, 1 to to two. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, shield thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. And Elijah went to shield himself unto Ahab, and there was a sorrow famine in Samaria. I pray the Lord will use us at the time where there is need in the land to teach them the way, teach them the word, and bring them to Christ. Number one, we need to know that God wants us to show ourselves to them. How do we actually get, how do we, how do we identify Christ in our life? So today we are looking at the topic, go, show thyself to him. Go, show thyself to him. That's what we are looking at today. And I pray the Lord in his massive way is going to help us and teach us how to do it right in Jesus' name. So, we are going to see three points today. Number one, the command of the king to go. Who is the king? King of kings. Hallelujah. Not Ahab. Not even any of them, but king of kings. The king that set king in his position. Then number two, consecrated to the kingdom to be godly. You are consecrated to the kingdom of God so that you can be godly. And your consecration your devotion, total commitment in the spiritual to the kingdom of the Lord, even to the kingdom of this world as Elijah got consecrated and he needed to help the communities because of this consecration to God first. So our consecration come first to the Lord before we can help the society. Number two, at Camel, to know our God. It happened at Camel, Mount Camel, so that we'll be able to, people will be able to realize and know the God of of heaven i pray so shall it be in the mighty name of jesus nothing shall be done in vain in a life in jesus name so let's see from point number one as we are studying together that is uh the first point is the command of the king to go god called the king commanded let's see um, the word of god in first king because we want to use these particular verses to relate to us as intercessor and, 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 and so winners. We intercede and we go. But the first command is the command of the master, of the king, that send us. But let's see what happened here, how the command was given unto the man of God, Elijah, verse 18. First king, 18, verse 1. And it came to pass after many days. Many days have gone. We have been reserved, praying, and actually looking. We need to go out and launch. And he said that the word of the Lord came unto Elijah, in the third year, saying, third year, first year, second year, third year, maybe you have not heard. Maybe we have even been going out to evangelism here and there, but God wants to speak spe spectacularly, specifically unto, our, unto us. We hear the word of God, he said, the, the, that the word of the Lord came unto Elijah. In the third year, saying, go. <laughs> That's the language for Christian. That's the language for the converted soul. That's the language for somebody who is waiting for the master who is waiting on the master, he said, Go, shield thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. God wants to send rain, but need you to go. God wants to send good things. God wants to send healing. God wants to send deliverance. God wants to send salvation. God wants people to be converted and know Christ. But he's saying, Go. Look at what he told us in Mark. Open the Bible to Mark chapter 16. The king himself is talking to us here that we and myself I need to go. Mark 
chapter 16. Please open the Bible. God bless you. The perfect law of liberty. Let's see together so that we will not just be talking it on our own. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Are you there? Open. Let's see together. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. That is a first king. Um, Mark chapter 16 and verse 15. Are you there? I'm waiting for you. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. He said, and he said unto them, Go ye into the world. Look at the world. The command of our master is to go into the world. Don't limit yourself to Baltimore. Don't limit yourself to Mecca. Don't limit yourself to Jerusalem. Don't limit yourself unto Lagos. Don't limit yourself to Rio de Janeiro. Don't limit yourself unto Los Angeles. Don't limit yourself to any community in Chicago. He said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. There's a distinct sound that they actually the trumpet will give gospel. All you are blowing is gospel. And what is gospel? Good news of Jesus. All about the message about Jesus Christ. Not any of my own word. Not my own everything. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. No. Is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And God will tame our mouth, tame our tongue, tame our spirit to be able to go to preach what is right. Preach the gospel to every creature. What happened when they obey? In verse 20, look at verse 20, it said, and they went forth. We are going to go. They went forth. They didn't disobey. They didn't disobey the master. The master gave the command and they went. He gave Elijah Go and show yourself to Ahab the king. And he went. Today, God is telling me and you, if you are converted, get consecrated, and get a sanctification, a heart that is pure and purified, separated from sinners, and now go there. Go to the world and teach them and tell them. He said, and they went forth and preached everywhere. All, no stone left unturned. All the eyes were dotted. All the teeth were crossed. They said, everywhere. The Lord walking with them, not there. Did you just you just go by faith? Go. He said, the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following Amen. Why? Because He has promised them something in Matt in, in the book of uh, Matthew chapter twenty eight. So that's why he's, He confirmed it. He was with them and was walking wonders with them. Let's read from the Word of God in uh, verse 18, 28, 18, so that we see what we want to bring out. Are you there? Matthew 28 from 18 years. Okay. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. That's why he had the king told us to go because all the power is with him. Nothing can cross us, nothing can hinder us, nothing can affect us, nothing can hamper us, but depend on the power of the Lord. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you, because you are hearing the command at my heart. I say, Go. So you teach them according to my commandment. He said, And lo, I am with you always. That's why we have the confidence. And he confirmed me with them that the signs and wonder were following. Because he said, I'm with you always. I carry my power with you. I carry my authority with you. I carry all you need to do is to obey. Go. He said in that place. And even unto the end of the world. Amen. God is with us to the end of the world. Don't fear anything. Just go as he has commanded. Let's go to point number two without wasting time. Let's go to verse 15 of our study in First King chapter 18. First King chapter 18. Verse 15. That is the, the point is consecrated to the kingdom to be godly. The essence of our consecration is to live a godly life, to be different from the world, but to be godly in nature, in approach, in everything. Look at Elijah. Look at what he did, what he said in the place with consecration. Look at 1 Kings 18, 15. And Elijah said, Look at the language of consecration. Elijah said, As the Lord of us liveth, as my God is there. As the God I trust is there, is with me. He said, Be, before whom I stand, are you standing before God? Or standing before man? Are we standing before the Lord of God? Anybody that is not saved is not standing before God. Anybody that is not believed in holiness and righteousness, that you still think you are you actually, you are operating your own power to be holy or pure. You are not, you are not standing. He said, I will surely shield myself unto him 
today. Today, you need to go. Today, when God calls you and say go, go. Don't stop. Don't stop going. Every day, we're supposed to go. The Bible says, look at what the Bible told us so that we know. Godliness is in our hearts and we have to go at the command as a consecrated person to the kingdom of the Lord. Matthew chapter 10. Let's read it again. You know it. I've been, you've been preaching it and you've been hearing it and you've been studying it and now we want to make reference to it again. Look at what he told us as consecrated servant of the Lord. Look at Matthew chapter 10 verse 7. And as you go, now you are now you are consecrated and you are committed to the kingdom. And now he said, as you go, a godly person, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Very the same message. Preach about the kingdom. And you're considered to the kingdom. He said, he now say, heal the sick. These are things we need to do. Heal the sick. Those who are sick of virus, of anything, heal them. Don't think of how you will do it. Don't think that one disease is stronger than the other. Before the presence of God, only speak the word and the, the, the sickness will disappear. He said, heal the sick. He told you to do it. Don't think of your prayer, your power, your what you have done, your anointing anywhere. Heal the sick is a command. Go and do it. He said, cleanse the leper. No, not you. you are not use, losing anything. It's the name of Jesus, and the mention of the name of Jesus needs about. Don't have forgotten that Jesus is Lord. Just in Jesus' name that I preach, that I know, that I believe in, all you lepers be cleansed. Simple. It's a simple language. And do it. He said, and raise the dead. Is anybody dead around you? All the dead around you, you raise them up. Don't let anybody hinder you and say you can't do it. It's not you, it's Jesus. You just obey and it will, it will be done in Jesus' name. He said, cast out devil. Any devil, any demonic spirit oppressing and operating in people, tell them to get out. And it will be done by the power of the Lord's care. Only believe. You will see the glory of God. Freely you have received, freely give. We don't need to charge money. Many of them, they charge money. They say, come to my house, come to the church, come to this, pay this, pay that. No, free. Give them free, and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let's finally look at um, First King chapter eighteen, verse twenty-one. That camel to know our God. All the things that is happening taking place at Camel in Mount Camel is God wants us to actually fear Him and know Him better. And the knowledge we know about God, we use it to influence others to get to the kingdom. Look at it in Camel in the in Camel in First King chapter eighteen, verse twenty-one. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And Elijah came. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name and will give us understanding. Let me start from verse 20. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophet together unto Mount Carmel. Look at, he went to Ahab. Ahab received the miracles. He saw the wonders. His heart was touched and a, a, a direction was given to him. Call all these people together. I pray in your community, they will gather them for revival. In your in your neighborhood, they will gather. In your nation, they will gather them to come and hear the word of God in Jesus' name. Ahab, he has no option but to gather everybody together. And I know those king, hardened king, those uh, hardened people, those hardened boss, those happy people control the community, God will touch them and they will gather people together for them to hear the word of life. All those, all the power of sickness, of diseases that is all the people all say today, they will release to hear the word in Jesus' name. Verse 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, look at Elijah, the man of God who has been told to go, he stood up now because opportunity arise when you obey God. He actually obey to see he have now opportunity to turn this community to God now. He said in that place, and Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if bear, then follow him. And the people answer him not a word. They will soon answer when they see the miracle of God. Now, because they cannot answer, they have been doing wrong thing. Now their mouth is blocked. They cannot start chanting about bear again. The Lord, the God of Elijah is here. The God that answered by fire is here. And they know there's nothing they can do against the truth. So the gospel is here for me and you to take everywhere. For people, they will be silent. They will be listening. They can talk. They can make noise. They can argue. They listen. And as they listen to you, the word of God will pass to them in Jesus' name. Are you there? But you need to intercede. You need to pray. And we need to be consecrated. We need to run away from sin. We need to live a life that is pleasant. Be an ambassador of Christ. Representing God with our behavior, our lifestyle, everything we demonstrate. Not be like the word again. And the Lord will help us. We are going to go and give them freely. The word is in our mouth. Open your mouth and speak it to them. So that those people who don't know Christ will come to Christ. God bless you as you are listening. And as we are praying now, the Lord who is committed to our, our life and love of God will make a change in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much because you have called us together for a purpose. So that our life will 
will remain the same. Our life will not remain the same. You will touch us, train us, and teach us. And as we pray for souls, you will touch our own heart and we will touch others. And many will come to you. Thank you, Father, for training and teaching us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.